Hi, and welcome to the Ontario Pesticide Vendor Certification Course. My name is Steve Speller. Today's presentation will be talking about Integrated Pest Management, or IPM. IPM is a process of planning and taking steps to prevent and control pests. There are five main components, identification, monitoring, thresholds, methods of control, and evaluations. Identification of the pests may include the physical appearance of the pest itself. Sometimes we don't see the pest and we may have to figure out what it was by the damage that's been caused. It's important to know the life cycle of pests, uh, to know their habits, also to know whether they survive and live on other host plants or animals. Monitoring of those pests, we need to inspect and sample the crop. Uh, look at how often and what to monitor depends on the pest and the crop that we're dealing with. And it's really important to keep accurate records of information, uh, especially when we want to deal with thresholds. An action threshold is a point at which the pest needs to be controlled to prevent the pest from causing unacceptable damage to the crop. Uh, one method of calculating that is by using the aphid app. So it's important to know the numbers that you have. Uh, are they increasing? Are they decreasing? Uh, are they stable? Another thing we need to think about is what is the cost of control? It's the economic injury level minus the damage that's caused. So we need to take that into consideration when we're looking at uh, controlling a pest. There are five different methods of control, and these can be used by themselves or together. The first one is genetics. That can include traditional breeding of plants and varieties. Uh, also, it can include genetic modification of those plants. We have cultural controls. Cultural controls are things like crop rotation and other things you may do with that crop. Biological controls. We may introduce a biological control into a greenhouse, for example, to control pests. Physical or mechanical uh, controls. That can mean cultivation of a, a field crop. It can be pulling, uh, removing pests by hand, whether it's weeds or insects. And finally, chemical control. This is our last resort if these other methods do not uh, control the pest adequately. So in combination, uh, we need to look at these all these methods. At the end, uh, we need to evaluate uh, our program. We need to decide if the program was effective. Did we get the control that we were aiming for? We need to review monitoring methods. Uh, we need to modify for future years. It gives us a chance to plan for the upcoming crops. It also allows us to forecast pest problems that we may be dealing with in future crops. It also helps us defend against liability suits. By being able to prove that you've uh, used integrated pest management, you've planned and uh, followed your plans, it will help you out if there was a problem and you ended up in court. So there's lots of uh, ways to learn more. There's uh, through AMAFRA, IPM and crop specialists, there's newsletters, crops and pests updates, uh, Twitter accounts, and so on. Um, for further information uh, on the Ontario Pesticide Education Program YouTube channel, there is an excellent uh, video uh, about integrated pest management. And I would really uh, suggest that you look at that video. It's got some great information, goes into a little more detail than I did here today. Um, but that will help you out uh, with integrated pest management. 